I'm uh, Cameron Sinclair and I am the one of the percussionists for David Sawyer's The Skating Rink and what we thought we'd do here is just give you a brief tour of some of the instruments that we've got in the back of the pit. There's a large variety of them and uh, some of them are, are used quite interestingly. Being percussionists we're part noise makers, part rhythm makers and we have a drum kit here for, for rhythm. Uh, we have timbales here obviously for the, the Latin American flavour. Um, very associated with Latin American dance music. Uh, we've also got lots of instruments that would do icy sounds as well to represent the skating rink and also in an almost like a foley way uh, sounds that would give the sense of of impending horror and doom as we uh, head into the in, into the story. So the first interesting little setup are these symbols here and I, I, there's something fantastic about symbols anyway, this, the, the sound of these things. And all of my sim symbols are Zildjian, and this is a, a make of symbol. He was an alchemist in Constantinople, and in 1623 the Sultan gave him a charter to open a company that uh, still exists today, and they make the best symbols in the world, in my opinion. Uh, so this, this company's been in existence for hundreds and hundreds of years making symbols, and it's still owned by the same family. Um, well, quite often we're asked to strike them with a stick and this one has a little bath chain attached to it uh, and the, um, often you can get a symbol that's called a, a, a rivet symbol or a sizzle symbol and it sounds a bit like this. And it just gives you a little kind of icy shimmer on, on the end of the symbol sound. Uh, we're, I'm also asked by the composer to bow the symbol and this is something that you would probably be familiar with uh, from horror movie scores uh, because it gives you some very complex overtones uh, and, and almost a, like a screaming noise. So that sort of adds to the the cold texture that's going on. Um, the bow is actually a fairly important bit of kit in this piece because we're also asked to bow the vibraphone and the crotales and it just creates a sustain. Again, normally you would strike uh, the vibes, it's just a metal, metal bars, strike it with sticks. <laughs> But in this instance, I'm asked to use the bow in order to sustain a sound. Which I think has a sort of otherworldly quality to it. It's, it's a kind of disembodied whale song almost. Uh, again, very cold and, and almost like a pure sine wave. That also w uh, goes for the crotales. Again, th these uh, very hard, dense metal discs usually played with sticks. And David here gets us to play some, some big chunky chords. So we get that kind of thing. Which create an incredibly intense ring uh, and sustain that just, just colors out all the sound. But when played with a bow, again, it just becomes incredibly otherworldly and very ethereal. And he mixes that sound up with these strange things here. Uh, uh, I think it's meant to represent a sort of ghostly chandelier of some description, but glass chimes. Usually a, a mark tree, these are usually metal, but these are, these are made of glass, these ones. Other fun things we have. Uh, straight from uh, somebody's car or van, a spring coil uh, struck Again, just a slightly odd resonating sound. But my favourite thing so far 
has to be this little drum. And I had this specially made. Uh, it, it came from uh, uh, a place just north of Barcelona. And it's called a tambouri. And it's designed to, actually to be strapped to the player's elbow. Uh, and they play, they play the flute with one hand and the drum with the other. Fortunately, I don't have to play the flute because I can't do that. But it's, uh, when I saw it on the website, I wasn't quite sure how big it was going to be. And when this tiny, tiny little thing arrived, it was... Uh, absolutely charming. It's a very high pitch sound uh, for uh, Catalan uh, folk music. Of course, no, no doom laden music would be uh, complete without the, a, a tam tam. Uh, and this, uh, of course, absolutely redolent of, of that kind of doom scenario. That sound. And then lots of more uh, Latin American instruments. Claves, you would know them as claves, but they're claves, I promise you, uh, which you'll, you'll hear towards the end of Act Three. And then lots of maracas doing stirring things. And then a different kind of symbol, not a Turkish symbol this time, but a Chinese one. You can see this Turkish one is has a sloping profile. This one has got a turned up end and it sounds really trashy. We're really looking forward to playing this piece and we hope to see you at the performances and uh, listen out for all of those sounds.